Ula means root, the base. Trikona means trine. So Mula Trikona means the base trine of the planet. What is the base trine? It is like the home, the real home. Or from the place one belongs to. According to me, this triangle of Mula Trikona is facing downwards, which resembles a female reproductive organ. Going by this analogy of mine, I believe that Mula Trikona Rashi is the birth Rashi of the planet. This is the place where the planet is born. So what happens if you have a planet in Mula Trikona Rashi? Three things are there. This planet is powerful. Not as powerful as an exalted planet, but this is the second most powerful place for the planet. So as the planet becomes powerful, whatever result the planet signifies, whatever result the planet indicates by the natural significations, by the house lordship, that comes in 100%. In fact, because this planet is powerful, they also give their nature trade behavior to the native. So say if Venus is in Mula Tripona, one is like Venus, beautiful, loves luxuries, etc. Right? If the moon is in Mula Tripona, then one is like moon, handsome, beautiful, attractive, famous, and all of that. So take the natural significations of planet and predict good results related to that if the planet is in Mulatrikon. Not only that, because the planet is powerful, the Dasha Antardasha of the planet is also very good. And in the Dasha Antardasha of planet, because the planet is powerful, one enjoys power, status, authority in life. And because power, status, authority is there, financial blessings, right? Getting of name, fame, and status getting married, getting children, this also one can expect. This is my secret tool. If a planet is powerful, exalted, Mulutrikon, then in the, or other things of power, then in the Dasha Antar Dasha of planet, one becomes powerful also. And power does include getting married, childbirth and all of that. So you will generally find that in the Dasha Antar Dasha of a powerful planet, though the planet is connected to 7th house, 5th house or not, does not matter, one generally gets married and children also. So this is something that have to be kept in mind while prediction, right? Multricon planet is powerful. Talking of beneficence, as I told in exaltation video also, the planet who is exalted is also benefit, but I considered the beneficence to be 80% only. In the case of Multricon, the planet is beneficial, good result giving, and this beneficence is 100% or at least 95%. So one thing is very sure that whichever planet is in Mulutrikona, that planet is going to give you good results only. And bad results are generally not felt related to the planet. Not felt related to the natural signification of planet, not felt related to the house lordship of planet. So you say sun is in Mulutrikona. Now sun indicates government and a negative result will be getting fined by government or getting punished by government. Good result will be governmental favor, getting money by government, awards by government, recognition by government. And when sun is in Mulutrikon, only good results come. Sometimes what can happen that sun is powerful also, say in retrogression. But the planet is negative. So because of power and negativity also, one gets fined by government and because of power, the fine is very huge. But because Mulutrikon is positivity, the planet gives good results only. And as I told in the previous video also, before this, except for this Parashar, which makes Raj Yoga by a connection between 4th, 5th, 9th and 10th houses. Powerful planet also gives Raj Yoga. So if you have any planet in Murutrikon, the planet will also give you Raj Yoga. If the planet is a lot of good houses, then the Raj Yoga will be related to houses. For example, if it is the 5th lot, then the Raj Yoga is because of intelligence. The person is very intelligent and because of this intelligence, the person is successful also gets good status in society as well. If the planet is not lord of good houses, then in that particular scenario, the Rajyog is there related to natural significations of planet. You say Venus is in Mulutrikona, so Rajyog is because of wife. Rajyog is because of luxuries. Rajyog is because of management skills of the native, etc. These things are there. As I told in the previous video also that exaltation indicates multiplication and exaltation is multiplied by three. In the same manner, Mulutrikon also indicates multiplication and it is multiplied by two. So when the fourth lord is in Mulutrikona, it gives you two properties, two vehicles, two lands. When the fifth lord is in Mulutrikona, it will give you two children. When the tenth lord is in Mulutrikona, it will give you two jobs. When the eleventh lord or second lord is in Mulutrikona, it will give you two sources of income. Right? 
or twice more savings than a normal person or than any other person having horoscope like you so this multiplication factor which i told you is like one of the one of the things primarily mentioned in classics but was not being used since last 400 500 years i have had the fortune of again introducing it to the astrological world the modern astrological scenario i have had the good fortune to do that right so this is their speciality with Mulutrikon, right? These three things happen with the planet. And the most important thing with Mulutrikon planet is that this planet gives very rare or no bad result at all. So this planet can be told to be very powerful and completely positive. And astrology is a science where, you know, it is expected that you follow it for your betterment, for good luck, good fortune. Like doctors learn about disease to eradicate it in astrology, you learn about fortune to make the person fortunate. And one of the major reasons of being one of the major technique to being more fortunate and being more, you know, lucky is to follow the Rajyuk planet, behave like the Rajyuk planet, do things, engage in things indicated by the Rajyuk planet and a powerful planet will indicate Rajyuk. So follow the Mulutrikon planet because Mulutrikon is also power. Now talking of Mulutrikon, sun gets his Mulutrikon in Leo. And between 0 degree to 10 degree. Mulutrikon I take from 0 degree to that particular degree. So sun gets Mulutrikon in Leo from 0 degree to 10 degree. Moon gets Mulutrikon in Taurus. Up to 3 degrees of Taurus moon is exalted and 3 degrees onwards. Moon in Taurus is in Mulutrikon. Mars is in Mulutrikon in Aries between 0 degree to 12 degrees. Mercury is in Mulutrikon in Rashi Virgo from 15 degrees to 20 degrees. Jupiter is in Mulutrikon in Rashi Sagittarius from 0 degrees to 10 degrees. Venus is in Mulutrikon in Rashi Libra from 0 degrees to 15 degrees. And Saturn is in Mulutrikon in Aquarius between 0 degree to 20 degree. So these are a strong and powerful position of these planets, the Mulutrikon position. Now one thing is there, as I have told you, Mulutrikon is like the birth Rashi of the planet. So whichever planet is in Mulutrikon in the horoscope, person creates something new. It gives birth to something new related to that planet. So if Mercury is in Mulutrikon, one gives birth to new intelligence, new techniques, new knowledge related to the field. If Jupiter is in Mulutrikon, then also person gives birth to new knowledge, new techniques, new advances, new researches related to the field, related to the field of Jupiter, related to the field of Mercury. Right. In Mercury, the field will be related to analytics, finance, banking, management, etc. In Jupiter, the field will be related to religion, spirituality, astrology, wealth management and all of these things. So one more thing is there that whichever planet is going in Mulutrikon, there are, you know, one does some good innovations, some new researches in the area related to that planet. And you know, if anyone will do good research, will produce new research, then what will happen? The person will have name, fame, status, recognition because then people will, the society will take him as a researcher. So these results will be there. And person will also get status, position and can also earn wealth because of it. Right? So one creates new things related to the planet who is in Mulutrikon and because of this particular creation, one gets good income of money also. One gets good professional status also. And one gets name fame status as well. So planet in Muldrikon gives you name fame status. Secures you financially. Gives, gives you good professional status. And makes you innovator. It makes you innovate something. And most importantly, because the person is into, you know, because the person is innovative, because person creates new things. Now, if there is an employee who creates new things, who comes up with new ideas, that employee will never get fired from the company, right? So the position of the person who is having a, if anyone is having even a singular planet in Mulutrikon, then the position of the person is secure in life. Right? There is no danger to his position and authority, be it the personal life, the position authority in personal life or the position or authority in professional life, it can never be challenged. The person can never be replaced. Right? So there is a surety and there is protection also that this Mulutrikon planet gives and all these results that I am telling you will be felt in the Dasha Antar Dasha of the planet. This is well known fact, right? Whatever 
result is told for a planet, whatever result is indicated for a planet that is felt in the Dashantar Dasha of planet. Now, in these Rashis, I told you, Sun is having Mulutrikon in Leo. Between 0 degrees to 10 degrees of Leo, Sun is in Mulutrikon. What after the 10 degrees of Leo, Sun is in Ona Rashi, Swarashi. Now, in this scene, what you must have seen, that Moon is the only planet who have its own Rashi in Cancer, but gets exalted in Mulutrikon in Taurus, another Rashi. This does indicate that for a prominent moon person to succeed, they cannot succeed on their own, but they need help and supports of other others. So in profession, they will need partnerships and life in life, relationship and marriage. Companionship will become very important for them until and unless they have a able, competent companion guide or someone to resort to, they cannot succeed in life. This is something that have to keep that have to be kept in mind and strong moon people should have cordial relationships with almost all and at least with their partners, specifically their marriage partners. Otherwise, the result of these exaltations, otherwise the good result of moon is not felt. I have told in the previous video that the bad part with moon is because it is exalted in a fixed Rashi, the person can be timid also. At least moon is the only planet who is exalted in a fixed Rashi, right? So it can make the person timid. Other fixed Rashi, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius, no planet is exalted. So it can make the person timid and being timid is very bad for relationships. So this thing, the you know exalted moon, Mulutrikon moon people should not have in their nature and they will need support of others to succeed in life. And if they are not having support of others, if they are not listening to others or if they are not having cordial relationship with their siblings, with their spouse, with their you know, professional partners and with their, you know, children's, then success becomes very difficult for strong moon people. This is something that is to be kept in mind. Another peculiarity you will see that though every planet gets exalted in the Rashi of others, Mercury is the only planet who gets exalted and Multricone in its own Rashi. Though every planet gets Multricone in their own Rashi, but Mercury is the only planet who gets exalted in its own Rashi also. Now what does it mean? See, for everyone to succeed, now moon person needs constant support of others. Right? That means they will heavily need someone to guide. They will heavily need someone to help them or do things for them, moon people, to succeed. Other planets, they need a normal, you know, they need normal support of others to succeed. For a particular example, if someone is going to start the business, of course, they can have idea. They can have investment and they can work, right? But it's not like you know, that they will purchase a property, make office there, then will, you know, open their thing into that. It's not the complete setup. So moon person can only give idea or moon person can only work, but other things have to be managed by others, have to be managed by support of others only. For other planets, it is normal. You generally rent a place, you generally get a place and do your work there. But Mercury have to be self-sufficient. What I have seen problem with people having very strong Mercury is their dependence on others. I believe that strong Mercury people should be alone, should be able to do everything by themselves. Till the time they look up at others, till the time they seek the company advice or association of others, they rarely become successful. In fact, they are much entangled in the company only that sometimes they forget their path also. And if Mercury people have a lot of friendship, if Mercury people don't live alone, if Mercury people don't do everything by themselves, then they generally spend maximum of their life running behind friends, family members only, and they rarely succeed. So for Mercury people, it is like you isolate yourself from everyone, do everything on your own, only then you can succeed. Expecting, you know, being in friendship and thinking that someday my friend will help me is futile. Right. Looking up at others or, you know, wanting the company of others, guidance of others, nod of others is useless. You should do everything on your own only then you will succeed. Even better will be that you first purchase a property, then make something over that property, make a building, etc. over that property, then start your business into it. Do everything from scratch. That is the only way of sustenance. That is the only way of prosperity. Otherwise, Mercury people cannot sustain. Mercury people cannot progress. 
and with association of many people multiple friends many family members and listening to all they generally remain confused and indecisive right so this is the lesson for mercury that we have to understand now one thing is there mool trikon as i told you no mool trikon is the birth rashi so you know the family you are born in is like your support also right and i already told you that if a planet is in mool trikon the person if i did not tell you i am telling you right now that if there is even a singular planet in mool trikon the person have good support in life good support in life means generally the person will belong from a good family if they don't belong from a good family then they will have good life partners if they are not having good life partner then at least they will have well to do siblings that means they always have good support they always have people to resort to it's not like that ever they are reaching at a place in their life where they have no one to resort to no one to talk to no one can help them no they will always have support at their back and this support will always save them no matter what happens so this is another good result of planet being in mool trikon this is to be kept in mind now as i told you with exaltation also sometimes what can happen you see the land wants a sacrifice right mool trikona is the womb of the mother for the planet mool trikona is the homeland of the planet native land of the planet and this land demands something from it and it demands a particular sacrifice when this is not done the result of mool trikon may not be felt 100% this have to be kept in mind and this habit have to be corrected if you want 100% result of mood trikon you can say this is second set of remedies for planets second set of traits and causative factors for planet which can stop a planet from giving its 100% result for example sun is getting mood trikon in leo now if the person is not fixed on their idea and if the person is not ready to take risk for the start of their idea or to work on their idea then they cannot succeed right sun wants you to take risk for example sun can give you a very good business idea but he will want you to leave your job and for at least 2 3 months remain without a job just thinking or arranging for your business to start making arrangements for your business to start this sacrifice sun will want and if you don't do this sacrifice then sun will not give you the greatness it will always keep you stuck in the rat race so this is for sun right it demands 100% focus attention and it demands risk moon demands help and support of others and more than that as i told in the previous video also moon demands that you listen to the advice of others also and don't remain adamant in your own idea moon demands that you talk to more and more people take ideas from them evaluate it and then work over it only being fixed on what you think is correct can be very detrimental for moon talking of mars mars will want you to try a few things it will give you good ideas but it will not give you 100% idea mars is the planet who will give you connecting dots only and you have to connect that dot and to make sure that you have connected all the dots in a correct way you have to do some traveling you have to have some experience so generally what i have seen with mars people if they start a business they cannot make profit into it why because you say it it is you say it is like a go down a go down type of business they are into import export now they are, they don't need a shop they are just exporting to other businesses only but this people will have a shop or have a go down in the center of the city it will be more costly also but they will not realize it that they are not running a business where people will come and visit them it is just a go down and it can better be in some you know far off area from the city also which will save costs for them they will not realize it right so searching a bit looking for other options is what mars demands from you if you don't do that then there will be problem so say in marriage also if mars is in mool trigon then in that particular scenario there can be a tendency of that whatever relationship is easily available to you you can go with that relationship which can be bad for you in longer run so mars will want you that you wait for the right person to come it's not like that you are of marriageable age and this is the only right person that you see so you marry the person no you have a clear plan in your mind that this is the type of the person i want and if this is not that type of person then wait for the right person otherwise mars can give you problems for mercury i already told you mercury wants you to be self sufficient jupiter jupiter wants you to 
be secretive if you tell your things to people openly then jupiter will never let it happen jupiter first of all wants you to be secretive secretive secondarily jupiter wants you to have ethics and morals so many a time people don't have strong ethics and morals they can easily compromise based on the lucrative offer or based on what is in front of them jupiter hates it so you know if you see a person who is very social go to all the parties but don't drink in the parties right so everyone else drinks in the parties and he is the one with cold drink in his hands this is a strong jupiter person and this person will reap 100% benefits of jupiter because if he is having an ethic of not consuming alcohol he will not consume it you will see this person is generally a misfit in the society a strong jupiter mulutrikona jupiter generally will make you misfit in the society but being this misfit you are being a misfit because you are not compromising on your ethics and morals and this is the thing that will take you to the heights and the success and the happiness and the enjoyment that this jupiter can give cannot be imagined by all those other peoples who are laughing at him thinking this he is a misfit so for jupiter have some ethics morals and standards in life and don't compromise with that when it comes to venus the thing related to venus is what i have seen venus becomes bad when you compromise generally with the quality of thing so many a times what can happen that because you know having a better thing will cost you some time having a better thing will cost you some effort people can compromise with whatever is available it is same like moon so it is same like mars regarding mars it's like you have to do changes in yourself you have to wait you have to have patience for the right thing to come you have to find for the right thing in venus what is happening whatever you want you are getting that but in lesser quantities you don't have to compromise over it it's like you are getting a shoe so you basically want a shoe you want a leather shoe but you are getting an artificial leather so though you are getting a leather but it is an artificial leather and you should not compromise over it you should get real leather only if it means waiting wait for it if it means getting more money go do some hard work get more money but don't compromise with the lower level of thing that is there so the basic difference between venus and mars is in mars you want a leather shoe and you are not getting a leather shoe so you have to go and find a leather shoe with venus it is you are getting a artificial leather shoe but you should have real leather shoe right and you should have your standards and those standards should be high so the worst thing that you can do with venus is that you take anything that should not be the case right you should have a dream and you should live up for that dream right because venus also indicates celibacy all right so venus does indicate having things like i will do my own business now sometimes people are like first you do job then you save money then you do your business okay this you can do because this is a practical idea of course money is not going to come from the skies that is there you can work save money and do the business but what will happen that saving that much money to do your dream business will become difficult so an idea will come to your mind that maybe right now start with some other business later later on we can go to our dream business don't do that don't compromise save that much money which is needed to start your dream business to the you know to the extent you have thought it to start it's like not don't start it in phases start it full fledged full blown and if it means waiting in doing more hard work do it otherwise venus is not going to give you the result coming to saturn the thing related to saturn is laziness the person have idea the person have thought person have everything but for the implementation they need mood see laziness one never you know a lazy person will never realize that they are lazy they will be like i am not getting into the right mood i am not feeling like doing it right now all this mood and feeling this have to be left out right saturn needs discipline so if you want to do this do this if this is to be done it needs to be done and any excuse i am not feeling like i am you know i am feeling tired i am feeling sleepy i am not in the mood these things should be avoided and whatever needs to be done that should be done only then saturn will bless you otherwise not so keep these things in mind and do these things for this planets and what you will see that as you do these things that i have recommended you you will get best of these planets 
if you don't do these things in that scenario, the planet will still give the result, but not the best. So have the best and have the result. Also, because I am talking about planets, there is one course mastering the birth chart where I have taught about planets in detail. I am still teaching about planets. Seven classes are over. And I am still teaching about each and every signification of planet and how they impact predictions, how to use different, different significations of planets for predictions. For example, it like Mars is told to represent burnt clothes. What does it mean? Wear burnt clothes. Is it good to wear burnt clothes? No, Mars indicate leather clothes. So what to do with leather clothes? To strengthen the Mars, one can wear leather clothes. For the Mars, one can donate leather clothes. Right? This one can do. So such a small, small significations of planets that many of you may not even know. And 80% of the astrologers in the world know but don't use. I am teaching in depth in my course, Mastering the Birth Chart, that you can join and learn about them in detail. And the advanced level will be mastering the planets where I have decoded planets in a very, very innovative way. That even those students who have been learning astrology since 20, 25 years, who are practicing astrologers, professional astrologers, when they came to course, after the completion of the course, they told that, sir, we are doing astrology since 20, 30 years, but we have never heard of these principles. And we are so amazed from the efficiency of these principles that we are now using these principles more than those principles that we have been using in this 15, 20, 30 years of our astrological careers. Right. So these two courses are the courses that you can consider joining if you want more in-depth knowledge about these planetary significations and how they work.